Hi, Alor here. In this video, I'm going to explain you why we have designed EVOS as an under the coronet boot and had chosen not to have anything around the pasterns. As you know, and simplifying things a bit, hooves are cone shaped and pasterns create a bottleneck just below the fetlock. At first view, this natural design makes it very simple to create a hoof boot that can stay in place no matter what. It's as easy as making a high enough boot to reach the bottleneck region, so the pasterns, and close it around it. So if with that super easy strategy we could avoid the biggest worry of the end users, why we didn't choose to do so and create an integral boot or a sport boot with a pastern strap? The reason we have chosen not to do so are lower leg biomechanics, horses free range of movement and comfort. But let me explain it a bit more with some clips to make it clear to you. When the horse moves and the hoof interacts with the ground through the different phases of the gait and even during its flying phase, you can find the lower leg axis in three different positions hyperflexion, hyperextension, and all postures in between. For this video, I'm interested in the two extremes, the moment of hyperextension and that of hyperflexion. During the hyperflexion that happens after the breakover and during the loading phase, the space between the fetlock and the bulbs region is heavily reduced and the pasterns are pressed against the bulbs, which means that having something around that region prevents complete hyperflexion, altering the range of movement and causing discomfort in every step. On the other hand, during the hyperextension that happens on the breakover phase and just before the landing phase, the axis needs to arch forward and having something around the pasterns like a high profile boot or a pastern strap prevents this complete hyperextension, altering the breakover and the landing, causing gait compensations and discomfort in every step. So, the biggest con of a below the coronet boot is that needs of a close fit to work as expected, but it gives to the horse a free range of movement, a superior sense of comfort, and do not affect the critical moment of landing and breakover, diminishing the risk of injury. Okay, so I hope you like to know a little bit more about why we designed the EVOS as we did and also that you learn something about your horse's lower leg biomechanics. Please leave your comments and thoughts below, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, share it so your friends can know about boots, and as always, stay safe, protect your horse, and enjoy your rides.